Hey everyone, I need your attention for one minute. This is not one of those ads. This is something that has changed my entire life. If you've been listening to this podcast, you know that this is all about personal development as the foundation for everything good in your life. And this podcast is now sponsored by Growth Day, which is the world's first all-in-one personal development app. I mean, oh my gosh, can you imagine having everything all in one place that you need to create? create the life that you want, now you can. So if you've been struggling with your motivation, your mood, your productivity, or your purpose, you have to check this out. Growth Day helps you consciously change your life and achieve your potential. It has all the self-improvement tools, motivational classes, and life coaching all in one place. So many of us want to improve our lives, but the question is how? Where do we start? What do we use? How do you get unstuck? How do you make self-improvement stick? Well, research shows how. It's when you consistently journal, track your habits, set goals, learn from empowering mentors, and challenge yourself that you'll be happier, healthier, and more successful. But let me ask you something. Where do you actually do all of your personal development work? I have to tell you that over 300,000 people use Growth Day for a reason. It works. It's the world's number one software for self-improvement. Growth Day has an amazing mindset journal that I absolutely love, a habit tracker, and a goal setting system. In fact, I bet if you went to my stories this week, you probably saw me using the journaling app and telling you to do it too, because it's the first time that journaling has ever actually stuck consistently in my life because of this app. And best of all, Growth Day has live inspirational classes every single week from the world's top motivational speakers and life coaches. These are people who have impacted my life in huge ways. These are mentors who I already knew and loved. In fact, this is something that's so huge for me, you guys. I personally teach a class in Growth Day every single month, and it is one of the most fun things that I get to do, and I'd love to see you there. These classes will truly shift your life. There's always something new that you will learn. So join me in 300,000 achievers growing our lives with actual real intention. Visit growthday.com slash Lori for a free trial. Yes, you can try this for free. So go to growthday.com slash Lori and go live your best life. You guys, that's growthday.com forward slash Lori. And I can't wait to see you there. My heart feels like it's telling me it's not sure if it can handle what comes next with something even bigger. And as I say that out loud, I know that I can, but I'm in the place of indecision. So I haven't burned the boats yet, and it's the most painful place to be. Welcome to the Earn Your Happy Podcast. I'm Lori Harder, founder of The Bliss Project, three-time fitness world champion, fitness expert, and cover model turned self-love junkie, lifestyle entrepreneur, and author. Each week, I'll bring you a guest or a thought that will help you bust through your fears, connect to your soul, and get focused and clear so you can elevate your life, business, and relationships. We don't wait until we're ready for someone to tell us we're good enough. We take what we want and we anoint ourselves. Get ready to earn, own, and unapologetically rock your happiness every single day. Are you with me? Here we go. Welcome back to the Earn Your Happy Podcast. And it's time for another quickie because there's always time to fit an inspiration. And I have to share with you that lately I have literally been, um, I I even hate this phrase. (laughs) I hate it, Um, but I'm in it. So I have been riding the struggle bus of emotion. I just cried before I got on this microphone and I cried last night and I literally don't even, I couldn't even, my life is fantastic. Um, But there are a few things that I'm just deeply feeling. And when I say a few things, I mean a lot of things. I think that we go through different phases in our life when we are feeling really powerful and really strong and really clear. And right now I'm not feeling super clear. I'm not feeling super strong. And I think that's, I don't think I know that that's okay. But what we forget is to share from here. 
um, because we feel like we don't have any value to offer, that we always have to be on the other side of the emotion. And like, I know so many people are going to say, Hey, I'm here for you. And I'm reaching out. And I love that. That means so much to me, but I'm also, I'm so like learning to be okay with understanding that life is this. And it's, this is, this can be every day. Like it's circular. And please, I don't want to like block people from reaching out and asking me if I'm okay, (laughs) because that means the world to me too. I'm fantastic. And also not, I'm also feeling a lot. I'm looking at the world and I'm questioning myself and I'm questioning everything. And I want a closer relationship with my creator and I want a closer relationship with the people in my life. And I think that these times are the times that make you reevaluate what's most important. And I can't even tell you this was brought on by anything because it wasn't. It's just brought on by a season in my life. And I'm so extraordinarily happy because things are being revealed to me of what truly is super important to me, especially after just achieving some huge milestones in my life and realizing that those are so freaking important because you evolve into the human being that, you know, this version of you that you would have never gotten to see, but also they're not the end all be all. They're not the point. The point is the journey it's going to take you on. So that huge goal that you have, it's not the goal at all. It never, ever is. If it is, it's like, oh my God, you just worked five years of your life for one day. Hell no. It's the journey of the evolution of you. It's the journey of the evolution of your soul and how you are pulling it through some of the darkest times or some of the brightest times. And you know, truly the acceptance of every emotion, how I talk about on a lot of these quickies, how it's, you know, emotions are visitors. They are here to offer you something. And I just, I want to accept and deeply love people even when they are not at their best. And that's the journey that I'm on is also accepting and deeply loving myself even when I'm not at my best or even when I'm not striving for something. Um, But I also love the striving side of me. So as you can see, I'm in a complete inner beautiful battle of understanding that every day is up and down. Like Because one thing happens during a day that's not positive does not make the whole day negative. I was just on a podcast with somebody, Dr. Morgan Francis, yesterday amazing podcast is coming out with her. And she was talking about how, you know, if every single day, some if something, you know, didn't go her way, or if, if she let something really bother her, like her, one of her kids was being bullied in school. And she's like, you know, if every single day I let these negative experiences like title the day as bad, or if a good, you know, something great has to happen for a day to be good, you're never going to have a good day because, you know, for every every light that exists, there's darkness as well because life has to be a balance of contrast. So it's kind of like just because something bad happens does not make the day bad. It's a happening, right? It's just something that happened. So I'm I'm in deep, deep, deep <laughs> contemplation and acceptance of this. And I think that's like, it's so interesting, right? Because I've had really challenging things in my life happen a lot. I've had some horribly torturous things happen. And it's like, I've been able to overcome those. And I think that I'm just in in acceptance that when you're in your purpose, your purpose doesn't feel good every day. And it's not supposed to. It's not supposed to. Like every day, um, uh, then I was on another podcast. So clearly I got a lot of gifts. I'm, I'm in the middle of this, you guys. So thank you for just listening. And hopefully you can find yourself in some of this and I'm not just feeling dead air or maybe I am. You can turn it off if you're not here. <laughs> but I was on another podcast and I asked my closing question, which if you guys don't listen to the other podcast, my closing question is always, you have 30 seconds with a stranger in passing, no more than 30 seconds. You ask them, how do you make yourself happy? What is your answer? Or how do I make myself happy? Or they ask you, how do I make myself happy? What's your answer? And I was on the podcast with Jordan Julie yesterday and she said, you know, don't search for happiness. Like don't search for happiness every day. Like search, make it, make it a fulfilling day. But if you're looking for happiness every day, not every day is going to come with happiness. Like you don't get visited by happiness every day. You, you can make a fulfilling day. You can do things that made you better or made your relationships better and really just try to make every day, you know, better or something fulfilling or something that makes you feel accomplished or or happy about how you're moving, the direction that you're moving in. But if you're searching for a feeling like good luck because you're always going to feel like you're missing. And it just was such an aha moment of, of course I know that, but at the same time, do I really understand it? So now I'm trying to understand 
that, you know, if I'm trying to always get to a feeling, it's not, it's not always going to happen because <laughs> every day has to come with so many feelings. So I think it's so funny because as I was going through my notes, looking for something to talk about today, I opened up to a poem that I wrote at the beginning of the year. And sometimes I write these poems and I write them down and I'm like, well, well, that kind of sucks or whatever. I just put that away and I, I write it and I don't even read it. Like I, it's stream of consciousness. And, and I promise you sometimes I'm like, who even wrote this? So I opened it up and I was like, what is this? And I realized that I wrote this poem from a higher version of myself for myself today. And whether that's the truth or not, I'm making it a story that makes me feel better about right now. So it says, let's see if I can get through it. Ah, it says, just to be clear, I'm now declaring how I'll interact with fear. No emotion is too deep to feel. Every thought questioned to be real. Each exhale, an opportunity to heal. Comparison, no longer able to steal. No thought can take me under. Every experience weaved with wonder. I see the extraordinary in the mundane. I have transformed by way of my pain. Obstacles are future wisdom in disguise. Relationships transform the lenses in my eyes. A change in perspective will set me free and compassion is how I will truly see. I embrace all parts of me, tight and jiggly, smooth and wrinkly, kind and prickly. Mistake and masterpiece exist perfectly inside of me. Failure guides my way. Stress reminds me to play. Sadness leans into fun. Judgment reminds me I've forgotten we're one. Loneliness is my alarm to reach out to someone. Liking me for me, no more apologies. Letting go of the past, accepting nothing less. With forgiveness and grace from above, I have unshakable faith in the solution of love. Sincerely, 2019 me. So thank you, past me. (laughs) And I'm going to thank future me for also pulling myself through all of this. And it's not even God. Sometimes I'm like, what is your deal? It's not even a big deal. But your emotions need to be felt. And they're very real. So sometimes just talking and saying how you feel, you know, I talked this morning to Evans on on my podcast and I talked to my husband and I talked to friends and I have a call on Sunday with even more girlfriends to talk through this. And it's more just expressing and getting it out and letting the emotion move through. And I'm going on so many walks right now and just really pondering what my purpose is right now and knowing that I also have to create it and knowing that I'm also in in the middle of a massive decision of starting a company that I want to start. And I'm watching how I'm talking myself out of it. And this is so not like me. I I can feel myself afraid of the next level. Um, And yes, if you're sitting there like upper limiting sister, like, yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. But my heart feels like it's telling me it's not sure if it can handle what comes next with something even bigger. And as I say that out loud, I know that I can, but I'm in the place of indecision. So I haven't burned the boats yet and it's the most painful place to be. So that's where a lot of this is coming from. Anyhow, I hope that you can see what the middle looks like and that I'll just randomly burst into tears in my closet. So welcome to what the next decision is. And truly, my life is blessed and I love my life and I'm beyond grateful and I'm beyond hopeful. But this is the middle and it's also so rich in lessons. Like if I was not here, I could not actually understand people. So while you're in it, it just sucks ass. But, you know, it's also awesome because it's so cool to like understand and feel. And, you know, when you have those days when you pop out on the other side and you're just like, life is freaking awesome. And I already feel that way today. So thanks for listening to the randomness, the in-betweenness. And I'm just excited to be on this journey with you. And hopefully this resonated. And if you're in this spot, we are so coming out together and we're coming out on top per usual. It's just who we are, you guys. It's literally just who we are. It's who we're created to be. So don't ever deny yourself of knowing 
who you really are and what you're made of because you're made of the stuff um, of the heavens and the stars. It's all the same stuff. I'm sending you so much love and thank you. Just thank you. Like in deepest, deepest gratitude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm like so obsessed with all of you because we're all in this together. So have the best day and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me on the Earn Your Happy podcast. I am so glad that you stopped by. If you could take one second to share this episode with someone you think would love it, that would be absolutely amazing and we would be forever grateful. Also, please leave us a review if you feel so moved by going to iTunes and leaving us an honest thought and honest comment. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you want to hear more of. It would really help us out on our journey to helping thousands and thousands of people. Until then, don't forget to earn your happy. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye. Hey, I know if you're listening to this podcast that you have big dreams and big goals. And one of the things that can really stop you is struggling with your marketing. Trust me, I have been there. Are you using 10 different systems just to build your online business? Then I want you to try Kajabi. Kajabi helps you build your web pages, set up funnels, and sell your courses, content, coaching, or communities. You've been hearing me talk a lot about funnels on this podcast and the importance of your email list. You can get a free trial at kajabi.com. That's K-A-J-A-B-I.com. I've talked about Kajabi before, but here's something that's super cool and new. They just rolled out an AI assistant for creating your online course curriculum. And this means you just type in a topic that you want to create on a course or webinar and bam, it's just generates a sample outline for you. It takes a ton of the hard work away. Of course, you're going to customize it to be your own, but this really helps you get over the struggle of how in the world to start which is where most people stop. If you're like me, starting is always the hardest part and that's what makes Kajabi so popular. They've made it easier for creators to build web pages, build courses, build coaching programs, build membership sites, build checkout pages, and build email funnels. So if you're struggling with any of those, you gotta go check it out. Go to kajabi.com. Kajabi was really the first all-in-one system and is trusted by over 100,000 creators. I think that's good enough for me. Also as influencers and marketers who use this. And now their smart AI platform makes it easy to take what you know and turn it into an online course and business. Go start building with a free trial at kajabi.com. That's K-A-J-A-B-I.com. Thanks for listening to the podcast. And I want to make sure that you have my phone number and I'm not kidding. Did you know that I have a community text number for real? My phone number is 310-496-8363. This goes directly to my phone. All you have to do is text the word daily to 310-496-8363. And I literally text you every single day, Monday through Friday, I actually just got done 30 seconds ago texting a bunch of people back and I talk to you all of the time. You guys, people always ask me how I got my community text number and how it works. Well, all you have to do is you can just go to community.com and get your own. Community makes it easy to get a phone number that you can use to build your audience using text. People just text you at your number and they're added to your group. Then you can text them out audios, video links, anything you want. You guys, I text out happy birthday videos. I love to send podcast links, thoughts about life, book recommendations, uh, different events that I'm doing in the local area. Texting gets me out of the noise of social media and directly into your hand. And now you can start texting your people too. Just go to community.com to get your phone number. They give you a 10 digit real phone number, not those weird short codes that look like spam, but it's more than a phone 
own number. Your new number comes with an inbox for SMS and texting. This means you can actually manage your text list from your computer and an app on your phone. You can schedule text to send at certain times and to certain groups. You can even set up auto replies or let your assistant or customer service team answer your text messages via community's awesome dashboard. Just go to community.com and ask for a free demo. They'll show you how it works and get you your number. It's time to start texting your audience versus just posting on social media. Everyone uses community for that. So go check them out at community.com. I can tell you it's not just great for communicating with my audience, but Chris and I use community and our texts to also sell out our launches. I'm telling you, you get such an incredible response because you really are creating a true deep sense of community and it's so intimate. It's freaking amazing. Go check it out at community.com. Want to know a huge secret to my success? Okay, not only my success, but just about every single person that I have interviewed on this podcast who is successful has this in common. You guys, they love to journal. They capture their life lessons and what they're grateful for. But a lot of people don't keep this up consistently. And most people do know that the research shows that journaling deepens your gratitude and increases self-awareness. But did you also know that journaling decreases stress and helps you achieve your goals faster? In fact, journaling is a huge differentiator between average performers at work and high-performing people. It leads to longer-term clarity, confidence, and success. So why don't more people journal? Why didn't I journal consistently? Honestly, they don't like staring at a blank page. It's hard to carry a book around with you or a notepad, and they just don't even know what to write about or they just forget. That's why I know that you're going to love Growth Day. It's the world's number one system for self-improvement and it's like all-in-one personal development in an app. And it has an awesome digital journal and people love it. Growth Day's digital journal has hundreds of research-backed writing prompts for self-reflection, positive mindset, confidence building, and success. I use them all the time and it makes me think in ways that I typically don't and it makes me ask myself better questions, which we all know gets better results in our life. It even has prompts that help you develop a daily, weekly, or monthly habit of reflecting on your life and identifying areas to grow. So it's a perfect time of year to start journaling, you guys. When you sign up at Growth Day, you also get systems for habit tracking, goal setting, and scoring and improving every area of your life. Best of all, I get to teach there too, you guys. I'm so excited. I hope that I get to see you. I teach live in Growth Day every single month with a new topic just for you. So join me there. Start your free trial at growthdate.com slash Lori.